In a previous video, we talked about the orbit of an initial point under a certain map. So if you have an initial point, initial condition x0, then the orbit is basically given by successive uh, applications of the function of the map f um, onto, for example, f of x1, and then we apply the map twice, and so on and so forth. So the collection of all of these points visited by successive applications of the map, that's called the orbit. And what we now want to do is to give some sort of graphical construction that will help you visualize or create the, the orbit. So let's get started. Let's create a diagram with x here and y over there. And we want to create the orbit of a certain initial condition x0. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is calculate um, f of x0. So for that, we need to draw our uh, map. So let's say here we have um, our uh, f of x graph. So obviously, if you want to figure out what f of x0 is, you just go up until you reach this point here, and that will give you the point f of x0. OK. So far, so good. But now what we need to do is we need to transfer that output here on the, the vertical axis back to an input on the horizontal axis, because we need to apply the map, of course, to the, uh, the value f of x0. So we can measure this distance here and then uh, put that same distance on the horizontal axis so that we here have the point f of x0. And then we can go up again until we reach um, the graph f of x again. Now, that's one way of doing it, just measuring the distance on the vertical axis and then putting that same distance on the horizontal axis. But there's a little trick you can use to do that graphically, and that is to bring in the graph here of uh, y equal to x. So just this line here with an angle of 45 degrees. And obviously, um, if you start, oops, if you start here at a height f of x0 and you go horizontally until you reach the graph y is equal to x, then you're quite sure that if you then go down here back to the x-axis, that you also have the same value f of x here, f of x0 here. So this is just a graphical way uh, of moving an output value back to an, uh, to an input value. So if we recap, what we can do is we start from our initial condition x0, and then let's bring in some color here to brighten up our day. So let's start from x0. First thing we do is we go up until we hit the graph of the map that we're interested in, the graph f of x here. Um, so this gives you the first point of our orbit. And then we go horizontally until we hit this straight line at an angle of 45 degrees, which will turn our output value back into an input value by virtue of the fact that you have y equal to x here on this line. And then you repeat this procedure. You go up until you hit the graph. Then you go vertically until you hit the line. And then keep on repeating that. Um, and then you see in the end, you end up here at this intersection between f of x and the line y is equal to x. So this is where your orbit will end up. It will end up in this intersection between uh, these, uh, these lines. Um, so this is a graphical way of uh, helping you visualize where an orbit will um, end up. The name of this diagram is a cobweb diagram. If you zoom in in what's happening here close to this, uh, this limiting point here, you indeed see that you sort of like spiral uh, a little bit in, in the, the fashion of a, of a cobweb here. So this is why it's called a cobweb uh, diagram. Um, what we can also see graphically is, of course, as I already mentioned, the point where you end up with uh, is the, uh, the intersection between these two lines. Um, and this is called a fixed point of the map. If you have a fixed point, it basically means uh, that you have an intersection of uh, y equal f of x and y equal to x, um, such that if you keep on applying the map, yeah, nothing changes. So that's why it's called a, a fixed point. Um, very specifically for the case of the logistic map, for example, if you have 2x, 1 minus x, if that should be equal to x in order to get a fixed point. So again, if you apply the map, you get back the same value where you started from. Um, if you then solve that equation, you will see that the fixed point in this case uh, is the value 0.5. Okay, so there you have it, a graphical representation of the orbit of an initial point under a certain map, the so-called cobweb diagram.